Sonia, Masha and Spike. Uh, Vanya like, and Sonia. Masha. It's that and, and that's It's an and between everything. And Tony. <laughs> Um, so Sardis. Thanks so much to Sean and Brandon. I want to tell you a little bit about the Off-Broadway Alliance. The Alliance is an organization of Off-Broadway producers, general managers, theaters, press agents, and marketing firms dedicated to promoting and supporting Off-Broadway. The Alliance conducts the following programs. 20 at 20, the biannual event featuring $20 tickets to many shows, participating shows 20 minutes prior to curtain annual impact to the economy of New York City is what? What do you think it is? It's $500 million. And we have a new mentorship program that we're starting. Uh, Kathleen Chalfont is going to introduce our next honoree. Kathleen. It is a great pleasure and privilege to present this award to my friend and fellow stage mother and uh, fellow grandmother and visionary producer Daryl Roth. I say that my heart has always been and will remain off Broadway. And I'll be continuing to raise the off Broadway flag very high for as many years as I can. The OBA Legend of Off Broadway Award to Christopher Dorn. Finally today, someone else has proclaimed this episode. <laughs> Sigourney was in my plays Beyond Therapy and Sex and Longing and Vanya and Sonia, and she is indeed an off-Broadway legend. I had Christine in my mind when the character suddenly does this section where she recreates a full trial on court TV playing all the characters, especially on a day where Sigourney and Christine have so deservedly been given the same award. Thank you. She created the role of the long-suffering Sonya in this year's Tony Award-winning Best Play. She's a favorite of Broadway audiences now, but we still claim her as our own off-Broadway. Ladies and gentlemen, a true legend of off-Broadway, Miss Christine. That's all. I, I just want to say thank you because I find uh, um, that I love the off-Broadway community so much. And I Let me introduce a woman who describes herself as a real off-Broadway gal and a legend of off-Broadway, Ms. Sigourney. I'm so thrilled to be here uh, with the Off-Broadway Al uh, Alliance and with all these wonderful legends with whom I've worked and with whom I hope to work. I first came to Off-Off-Broadway doing Chris Durang and the theater we used then was the Direct Theater in Hell's Kitchen, who would all be getting ready in one small room in the back with one like little mirror. And it was glorious, so much fun, and just wild and free. And it was the Aldridge costume that lit up underneath my costume. And, and then I, I beeped and lit up, and I ran off stage to give birth to a full-grown man who jumped off a cliff with a herd of lemmings. <laughs> I'm, I'm thrilled, and uh, I thank you all so much. The award, Richard Maltby Jr. and David Shire. The yeah. <laughs> I mean, we are unbelievably grateful. Kind of universally acknowledged in the business that you cannot have a revival without an original production. <laughs> Best play revival <coughs> is the piano lesson. By the executive director of the Signature Theater, Erica Mallon, and the director of its wonderful revival, Ruben Sanchez. And I am honored to be a part of the Signature Theater. I want to keep telling the stories 
that resonate throughout our, all of our hearts and bring us closer together as human beings is what inspired the remarkable playwright Jonathan Tollins, what critics are calling a bracingly bright one-man fantasia about truth, celebrity, and the pursuit of utopia, and a fantastically funny script. And the characters of Barbara Streisand, James Brolin, and others are all, as Theater Mania has it, played with consummate skill by the consistently marvelous, deliciously endearing Michael Ewing. Buyer and seller is moving to the Barrow Street Theater, so everyone who didn't get to see it at Rattlestick, you can still get to see it, but you should probably get your tickets now. Here to accept the award for Best Unique Theatrical Experience is David Van Asselt, Artistic Director and Co-Founder of Rattlestick. Unbelievable Michael Yuri, you must see his performance as beautifully directed by uh, Stephen Brackett. Last October, an audacious new musical entitled Natasha, Pierre, and the Great Comet of 1812 appeared at Ars Nova. A tent. It's a big, intricate, luxurious tent, but it's a tent in the meatpacking district. The musical, an electro-pop opera based on book eight of Tolstoy's War and Peace, features a score by Obie winner Dave Malloy, the show garnered lavish praise. Dale Roth had nothing to do with this show. <laughs> and of course, Dave Malloy, the man next to me, who is a genius. We are also in a room with the next generation of legends. Thanks to all our honorees. Thank you, everyone, for coming.